Serato just announced a new expansion pack called Serato Play. This lets you spin using nothing but your laptop. No need for any DJ controllers, audio interfaces, or other hardware. You can spin, mix, and do your transitions using nothing but your computer's keyboard and trackpad. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Serato Play, and then I'm going to show you the hotkeys that you can use in order to mix, and then we're going to do a little mix towards the end. Let's do it. Serato Play also gives you the ability to use a DJ splitter cable, like this one. What it does is it splits the stereo output of your laptop into two. One goes to your headphones and the other goes to your speakers. That means you can use your headphones to cue up the next song and to prepare without altering or affecting the sound that's coming out of your main speakers. All right, so I've got Serato DJ Pro loaded, and the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we want to enable Serato Play. And to do that, just go to My Serato, and you're gonna have to log into your Serato account. I've already logged in, and I've already enabled and purchased Serato Play, so if I click on My Products, it's just gonna show up in here as activated. Now, since you haven't done that yet, just click on Expansion Packs, and it's gonna show up somewhere in here. Again, it's a $39 purchase. So once you complete the purchase, it'll be activated and you can close my Serato and you're gonna be brought back to the main screen. Now, in order to show the Serato Play controls, head on over to the top of the Serato interface and click on this icon over here. It looks like a crossfader. Click on it, you're gonna find the Serato Play interface show up in the middle of your screen. Now, here's a really quick talk through of the controls. Over here on the left side, you're gonna find the Q level knob. This will allow you to set the volume in your headphones, and this is the headphone Q button. You have one for the left deck and one for the right deck. Now, if you take a look on the upper left and upper right of the screen, you're gonna notice that decks one and two are activated, but we can also activate decks three and four. So yes, you can do four deck mixing using Serato Play. How cool is that? It's handy if you are a mobile or wedding DJ, or you're somebody who actually spins and with four decks, you can practice your set even though you are not in front of your DJ controller or you're not at the club. You can practice on route or wherever you are, as long as you've got your laptop and Serato Play activated. Okay, so let's move on to the controls. Over here, we got the three band EQ, low, mid, and high, as well as a filter knob. You're gonna find this to be identical over onto the right deck. So yes, low, mid, high, as well as filter knobs. And you're gonna be able to control this using either your mouse, just clicking and dragging like that, or using keyboard shortcuts, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now, if you want, if you mess around with these controls, say you've already done this, and you wanna quickly go back to like the 12 o'clock position, all you gotta do is to click on this circle at the top that will bring it back to its default position. Just like that, super, super simple. Okay, so I was talking about keystrokes earlier. You're gonna find them over here. If you click on the gear cog icon, it's gonna bring up this little menu and let's go through the settings first. Over here, it has a option for using split headphone cable. I showed you what that was earlier and I've already got my headphone splitter connected to my laptop, so I want that to be enabled. Again, this will enable me to monitor headphone cue, and also to be able to plug in my main speakers over onto the other jack. So I've got that enabled. If you're not using a DJ splitter cable, then you're gonna wanna untick this. Okay, and then below that, you've got the Serato Play hotkeys enabled. So if you click on view keys, now, if I click on view keys, I'm gonna be shown all of the keyboard shortcuts that are available in Serato Play. Let's just go through them really, really quickly. Over here at the top, you've got your hotkeys. You can set up to five hotkeys using Serato Play. And you're gonna find below these cue buttons that there are looping controls and they are in a light blue color. That means you have to hold down the Alt button or the Option button if you are on a Mac. And while holding that down, you press any of these keys that will access these blue key commands. So if I wanna do an auto loop, for example, all I have to do is to press Alt and then press the number one on my keyboard and I'm gonna be able to enable or disable an auto loop. So that's it for the top row. You've also got toggle decks over here. Again, I said earlier that you can control up to four decks and start auto play, really, really cool. And then you've got zoom in and zoom out for the waveforms. Now below that, you've got your tempo nudges and also your tempo control, so you can speed up or slow down a track, you can change the BPM, and you can also enable or disable sync in this row. And then you've got 
crossfader controls over here. If you click on this button, it brings crossfader all the way to the left instantaneously. If you press this, it brings crossfader straight to the middle. And if you click on this button over here on your keyboard, it brings crossfader all the way to the right. If you don't want to do smooth face, you can use these buttons in order to bring the crossfader into these the different sections of the crossfader path. Now finally, over here on the far left, you're gonna find the toggle library button, and this lets you bring the selector from the playlist tree or the crates tree over on the left side of the browser. You can toggle from selecting that or selecting tracks within a crate, which is basically the center part of your browser screen. Now below that, you've got two rows to control the EQs and the filters as well as the volume faders. So in this row, these are all controls that move these clockwise. And over here in the bottom row, these are all controls that move these knobs anti-clockwise or bring the volume faders down. You've also got control reset buttons over here, which you can access by holding down the Alt key or the Option key in your Mac and clicking any of these buttons on your keyboard. Rather, I should say pressing any of these buttons. Now over here on the right side, you've got the play right deck command. So if you want to hit play, if you want to start or stop the track that is on the right deck, you have to press the enter or the return key if you're in the Mac. Now over here at the bottom, let's just go through these Alt keys really quickly. If you hold down the Alt button and press these three keys or these three keys, that will allow you to do an EQ kill. So this will effectively remove any of these EQ frequencies in a song instantly. Now over here at the very, very bottom, you've got the play left deck. So again, the enter button plays the right deck and the space bar plays the left deck. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now over here on the right side, we've got controls for the crossfader. These incrementally move the crossfader either to the left, if you press the left button over here, or the left key, and this brings the crossfader to the right little by little. You can also hold down the command button and press the left key to load a song on the left deck and the command button or the right key in order to load a song on the right deck. So that's it for the hotkeys. Let's see these in action. All right, so let's try playing a couple of tracks in here. I'm gonna load some songs. There we are, using the hotkeys. And I can trigger hotkeys over here on the left deck just by pressing one, two, three, four, five. Press one, I've already got a hotkey there. And if I press six, it's hotkey. The hotkey over here on the right deck. And again, we're not hearing anything coming out of the main speakers because our crossfader is set all the way to the left. Now if I press this button, which is the close bracket button, or the close bracket key, this brings the crossfader into the center, and I can hear both. All right, so let's try playing the left deck. I'm gonna hit the space bar. All right, cool. Now I can mess around with the filter if I want to. If I press F, it brings the filter clockwise, moves it clockwise, and V moves it anti-clockwise. And if I hit Option or Alt and press F. This brings it to the default position. Same thing happens if I mess around with the EQ. This moves it clockwise, moves it anti clockwise. Hold down Alt, Command, press A, brings it back to the club clock position. Now, if I want to do a full kill, hold Alt, and press Z. That removes all the low end almost instantly. And if I hold Alt and A, brings it to the default position again. This works for all the other EQ controls over here. All right, cool. So let's stop that. All right, so let's try mixing these two songs together. It's pretty easy to do in Serato Play, especially since you've got hotkeys already laid out for you. So let's try playing this track over here. And now you can notice that the tempo for the left deck is different, so let's sync that up. There we go, they're now synced. I'm gonna prep myself. Cool, playing both of them now. Slow down the track. Just like that, and then now I can bring my crossfader from the right over onto the left.
Now, apart from Serato Play, Serato has also announced Tidal integration baked into the latest versions of Serato DJ Pro and Serato DJ Lite. Tidal is a music streaming service similar to Spotify and Apple Music. We've got a full review of that. I've got a link to the video below this. And also, I've got a tips and tricks video for you if you want to transfer your playlist from Spotify, from Apple Music, or any other music streaming service. I'm going to show you how you can get those playlists and how you can copy them over onto Tidal so you can spin with those tracks inside of Serato DJ. So I hope you like this video. Hit the thumbs up and like buttons and share this with your online friends and even your enemies. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time.